All right, so if you know Yeet, you definitely know the song Poppin'. And if you're a fan of Yeet, you probably want to know how that song was made. So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how that beat was made. And then if you want to sound like Yeet, I'm going to show you guys how I made a preset in FL Studio to sound exactly like Yeet. And if you don't believe me, listen to this. This is the beat and my voice. And I think I kind of sound pretty similar to Yeet. Put this out this lamb, I chopped it up like helicopter. Slide in a cooler for the driveway. Hop inside the mansion for the driveway. Anyways, before we do jump into the video, if you guys could do me a huge favor, go down and hit that subscribe button, because like half of you guys watching this aren't even subscribed yet, which just blows my mind. Come on, guys, subscribe. And also, if you could do me another favor, hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next from me. Yeah, if you don't know who I am, my name's Q. I'm a producer, a sound engineer, and I make a lot of things, basically all things yeet. So if you're a fan of stuff like that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. And real quick, before we do get started again, if you guys want to grab the FLP to the beat, I'll have that available at my website. Link down in the description below as long as you have fl studio you will be able to open this file i include the project bare bones so it includes all the drums i used and all the one shots i used and if you want to sound like yeet the vocal presets always available at quintabobbit.com this preset looks like this and there's an fl studio stock version and also a waves version but without any further ado let's jump into the video and learn how to sound like yeet and his new song popping okay so like i said first thing we are going to do is break down how i made the beat so what i did is pulled up fl studio i found out that the bpm of popping was 149 beats per minute that's what we did we changed that up here to 149 and if you want to follow along even better you can grab this flp and follow along but what i did was started out with this sound in serum i made it a one shot it looks like this and sounds like this this is what the chord progression actually looks like and if we go to this button right here view then we go to scale highlighting we're going to set it over to b minor which is the actual scale of the song and as you can see i started out here with what is a g minor chord and in order to make a chord basically what you would do so we'll scroll up here a little bit you'd start at your root note which is g Actually, in our case, it's B, but a G minor chord is actually in the scale as well. But we'll start at G. It's a high pitch because we went up a scale. You skip one note in your scale, go to B, skip another note in your scale, go to D. As you can see, if we bring this down, it overlaps exactly what we made. But what I did here is actually inverted this second note, brought it up an octave, which is an inversion. And then on top of that is a G. I'm not too familiar with music theory, but this is how I got that sound. And then after this chord, we just have some notes in between just to play some kind of melody in between there. Then we have our B minor chord, and these are the only two chords. And these are pretty much our only two chords here for the B minor chord. All I did was start at the root note B, skipped one note in the scale, which would be the C sharp, and then went to D. And we skipped another note in the scale and went to this F sharp. Then, of course, there's a few notes on top. And there is this C sharp that I added in there, which kind of gives it just a bit more of a harsh sound. So without it and with it. Just makes it a bit more harsh yeah other than that there's just some notes here and then uh the g chord repeats itself right here but yeah there's basically just some notes that add a little bit of texture and sound to it so this is what the original chord progression sounds like all by itself And then we moved on to the lead, which is pretty much the most important part. I feel like everyone kind of knows popping because of the lead. My opinion, I don't know. That might just be a music thing. But anyways, this is what the lead looks like. I used Serum again, but I turned it into a one shot and it sounds like this. I'll solo this out and this is what the actual melody looks like. There's not too much explaining here besides the fact that I did stay in the B minor scale. And if you notice anything, it does kind of look like a wave. And what I've noticed a lot in music is if you're playing a melody, a lot of the times if you make a wave, if you're just typing in melodies, which is a lot easier, you end up making a wave. It kind of starts and finishes itself, which kind of builds and releases tension. It's pretty much always gonna sound good if you make a wave. But anyways, enough talking. This is what that lead actually sounds like. So yeah, super bouncy and just sounds super good. And we have like this lush chord. Again, I started in Serum. This is what the chord actually sounds like. Yeah, basically we we're playing the B minor chord and then the G minor chord just with uh, some other notes in between, a lot of the C sharps, just to make it sound a bit more gritty. And this kind of just plays in the background. Um, as far as processing goes, I just put a delay and some reverb on it. And then I also brought down this little EQ to bring out some high end. But uh, yeah, this is what that little lush chord sounds like. And another super simple sound, it's just like this Mellotron flute. I actually got this from a one-shot kit. I forgot exactly where I got it, but it sounds like this by itself. As far as the melody goes, that's basically it. Um, in the second part of the song, we do have another lead come in, which looks like this, so a lot more complicated. 
Again, I was in serum for this one. Also, real quick, shout out the boy Thayer, period. I think that's how you say his name. I watched his video on how to actually remake this beat. So a lot of what I'm doing here is actually from him. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, this is what this pluck sounds like. Just a little pluck that comes in in the second part of the song. So it's kind of an odd melody and it's pretty aggressive compared to how the other sounds are more like on the calmer side of things. But this part of the song kind of just goes crazy so that it helps add that. And then we have one more pluck, which also comes in at the second part of the song, but it sounds like this. Yep, and then we move on to the drums, my favorite part. So there are two parts for this drum section that I did. Like I said, if you download this FLP, all these drums will be included. So if you want any of these drums, just grab that FLP. But what I did start out with was the 808. So if you have my Cyber Drum Kit, you're probably familiar with these sounds, but that's where I got them from. But I have my 808 called Church and then 808 called Whack. And this first 808 sounds like this by itself. Yeah, super aggressive, and the processing for this, I just did two Fruity Fast distortions. The first one is adding kind of that high-end distortion that you hear. I'm using the B preset, and the second one's using the A preset, which is just distorting the lower end. And then there's an 808 on top of that. This is just basically a spins 808. No processing at all on that, but you put the two 808s together and you get this. Then we have your very typical Yeet hi-hat. All the drums together, I basically just put a clap and a snare together, and you get this. And then the only other thing is at the second part of the song, there I added like this little I hat roll, and there's like a fine pitch little thing I did right here. But uh yeah, this is what the entire song sounds like. <laughs> So yeah, that is the beat. Let's get onto the vocal side. All right, so here is the whole project right here. And before we do anything, I'm just gonna let you guys listen to what it sounds like. I might have to cut some of this out because I'm not sure what is copyright and what isn't. But these are the results that I got from trying to sound like Yeet and Poppin'. <laughs> Yeah, I think it sounds pretty accurate. I don't know, you guys can tell me. But uh, yeah, so let's go over exactly how this works. So uh, I guess I'll play it with all of the effects off so you guys can hear what my vocals sound like raw. What's super important about making a song like Yeet is the delivery, which is really the hardest part. If you want to sound like Yeet, your delivery is going to have to sound like how Yeet sounds. All right, so here is what the vocals sound like raw. No auto-tune, no reverb, no compression, EQ, completely raw. Need a topper, a bopper. I put inside this lamb, I chopped it up like helicopter. Slide in the cooling for the drywall. Hop inside the mansion for the drywall. Uh, kicking holes in the wall and fucking holes in my drawers. I don't. But yeah, as you can see, turning the effects on definitely helps a lot. Slide in the cooling for the drywall. Hop inside the mansion for the drywall. Uh, kicking holes in the wall and fucking holes in my drawers. Yeah, real quick, I'm gonna go over exactly how to use this. So if you get the stock version, it's pretty much drag and drop. So we'll go to an empty preset here and I'll go to my desktop so wherever you download the stock file you'll go to and you're gonna get three files right here you're gonna get your main vocal ad lib one and ad lib two so what I'm gonna do here is just drag on the main vocal as you can see everything's here all you got to do is either replace this plugin right here which is auto-tune the scale is B minor 
I have the retune speed all the way up and humanize at 21. And if you don't have autotune, you can use Waves Tune if you have that, or you could use the free version in FL Studio, which is called Pitcher. But anyways, if you want to hear yourself, all you got to do is go to this button right here. Go to whatever your input, your mic is. Mine's input one. And now you can hear yourself. Hear yourself. Yeah, same thing goes for the AdLib 1 and AdLib 2 track. But now, if you guys are the Waves users, this is going to be a little bit different. I haven't done this yet, but in order to get the Waves one to work properly, I had to use a bit more plugins, but we had to use a bus. So basically what I did here, if you download the Waves version, you're going to get this, you're going to get your main vocal, AdLib 1, AdLib 2, and then you also have a reverb and delay bus. So basically what I would do is I would drag in the main vocal. We'll drag our main vocal in right here, and we'll just do the AdLibs as well. AdLib 2. And then right next to that, what you're going to want to do is bring in your reverb bus and your delay bus. And all you got to do to use these is you're going to right click, go to route to this track, and then you control the amount of reverb with this knob right here. And I had mine on the main vocal sitting around right here. And then you're going to also want the delay on here. So you're going to click route to this track and you're just going to bring this down as well. I had the delay on the main vocal sitting around right here. And then for the double one track, you want to do the same thing, route to this track, but I had the reverb way higher around right here. And then the delay as well, you want this much higher, probably about halfway. And then for the other one, route to this track, and we're going to bring the reverb down a little bit, and then route to this track, and the delay sits right there. So if you're a Waves user, make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're going to have no reverb and no delay. This doesn't change how the reverb or delay sounds or anything. The way a bus works is it just sends the signal over to another track and it allows you to use more plugins basically. But the cool part is you can control the mix knob right here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, but uh, I think the only thing left to do is a little freestyle. So we're gonna go to the end of the beat right here. I'm gonna turn my gain down on my mic. And now you can hear me. Let's do a quick little freestyle. Turn a city up a notch. I need my drugs, I need my love. Yeah, oh yeah. Bitches putting it up they suck us up. I'm in the talker, baby, yeah, show me love. I'm trusting nobody, look, bitch, I keep a gun I love with nobody, look, bitch, I trust in none If a problem come up, yeah, you know I'm not gonna run I feel like I'm some of the us, cause we blow up like a bone Roll them like a fifth, then we smoke them like a bone Hey, we've outside, all day Rolling around with opera stoppers, I might hate to pay I just bought me all these tongues, all these motherfucking shades I'm throwing shade up on it, be like she get paid So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, go down and hit that like button for me so we can get this video out to more people. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna be trying uploading a lot more now. I've been tr I redid the whole website, so uh, there's a bunch of new product images and different stuff like that. I got a bunch of new ideas on the way, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Doses.